Sometimes editors go beyond the standard color correction workflow of tonality and color and step into color grading. In color grading, you're applying a look, a cinematic look to your project. The look might be gritty, cold, warm, dark, things like that. And Premiere Pro lets you apply looks to your projects very easily. To see how this works, go to Working Files, open up Projects, and go on down to 1108 Lumetri Effect. This project has three clips in it, this interview clip, this scenic shot, and this train shot here provided by Digital Juice for our use. You go back to the interview here. We're going to apply some looks to all three of those clips. And the looks are going to be applied using what's called the Lumetri engine. The Lumetri engine is the color grading engine that runs inside SpeedGrade, the Adobe color grading product. SpeedGrade basically is the Lumetri engine just wrapped in a user interface. And now the Lumetri engine runs inside Premiere Pro. You don't have to have SpeedGrade to apply SpeedGrade looks inside Premiere Pro. In fact, the Lumetri engine inside Premiere Pro lets you apply basically any kind of look that you can get online or that you can get from SpeedGrade. Let me show you how this works by going over to the Effects panel, going down to Video Effects, going down to Color Correction, opening that up and scrolling down a bit to Lumetri right there. I'm going to apply it to this clip. And what happens? Something that you might not expect to happen. It opens up the Select the Look forward slash LUT dialog box. LUT stands for Lookup Table. So you need to find a look. And we're going to go to the standard location where Premiere Pro is loaded up. So I'm going to go to Main Drive. I'm going to go to Program Files and go to Adobe. And then go to Premiere Pro. And then go on down to Lumetri. And now inside here, we're going to go on down to LUTs, Lookup Tables. Open that up. And here are all these standard lookup tables that work inside Premiere Pro. And notice the extensions don't all say L-U-T. They say cube, C-U-B-E, I-T-X, I-L-U-T, and here's a LUT down here. All different kinds of file types will run as looks. Click on this so you can see the whole list of them there. So let's just load up one of these Kodak ones here. And you'll see that it changed this a little bit. Let's check that out by opening up the Effect Controls panel. And there's Lumetri. And you notice there aren't any properties. It's either on or it's off. But there is the setup box over here. So what's going to happen when I click on that? Guess what? Opens up the head select the look dialog box again. You need to track down your looks. So let's change to something else to this uh, Fuji film here. It does look different now. Turn it on and off. And that's it. There aren't any controls. Either it's on or it's off. You pick the look and put it in there and then just check it out. If you like it, you're set. Now that may seem a little narrow, but you actually can control looks by you putting them in an adjustment layer. I'll show you to do that in just a little while. So I'm going to turn this off now, and now we're going to look for presets. And presets are probably the way you're really going to go, because you can see how things are going to look before you apply them. So to find the presets, I scroll down to the bottom here, and there are Lumetri looks, a whole bunch of presets here. I click on this disclosure triangle there and scroll down a little bit farther. We've got cinematic. Let me close this up so you can see them all cinematic, desaturation, style, and temperature. And you can see previews over here when you select one of those headings. You open this up a little bit, like so. I'll click on cinematic. And they have Bleach Bypass, which is a famous way to give it kind of a gritty look like that. Other cinematic looks, day for night. Look at desaturation. We're basically just taking the color out, such that it's either black and white or almost black and white. Style, various different kinds of styles, called 70s, 60s, dreams. Sort of blue look. Temperatures, meaning warm or cold. Let's apply a warm one here. We'll do warm overall. So I'm going to double click on this and that applies that preset. It's called Lumetri and it names it there. If I decide that I don't really like the way that looks, I'll try, let's say, Warm Gamma Mix instead. I'll double click on that and it won't replace it. It just adds it. It's another two of them working sort of against each other or with each other, depending on how you look at it. So I'm going to turn off the top one there, the one that was put on first. and Look at that one. Turn them both off and try the one on the top now by itself. So there are ways that you can kind of compare things. But they are adding them one at a time like this. I'm going to delete all these guys one at a time like that. Start from scratch. I'll go back up here to this style here. Get that blue one. Double click on that. And now you're thinking, whoa, it's pretty darn extreme, right? But we can sort of overcome that. We can sort of tone it down by applying an adjustment layer. So I'm going to go back to the project panel. Over to this little new item icon there and select the adjustment layer. OK. Apply that on top here. Extend it a little bit like that. I'm going to apply the preset to the adjustment layer. So I'll click on this. Let's delete this one to get it out of the way. And apply it to the adjustment layer by going back to Effects. Double clicking on Dreams with this thing being active. 
And now we've applied it to the adjustment layer and we can control it there much more than we can if we just apply it to this clip directly. We can go to opacity, we can kind of knock it down a bit so it's not quite so extreme. You can adjust it that way. And you can also use blending modes here. So you can kind of overcome the fact that you can't control these effects by putting them inside an adjustment layer. So we'll try linear burn and obviously it's going to be dramatically different, but you can control it much better this way. Let's just take a look at some looks over here on these other two shots. The scenic view, which could be perhaps a little bit warmer. So I'll go over here to temperature, and we'll just click on that and look at some previews here. We'll try the warm gamma mix. Drag it over like so. Let's look at the before and the after. Here's the after, there's the before. You can apply it again. Makes it warmer, warmer still, warmer still. You can apply a number of them like that. Let's move on to the train. The train's kind of gritty, right? Let's just take a look at that one now. Go to cinematic, try bleach bypass, which will make it look even grittier. So these are how you apply Lumetri effects. There are a number of presets. I think it's worth looking at the presets. They will simplify your life and you can preview them here. Or if you find lookup tables online or create them inside SpeedGrade, you can also track them down and apply them directly to your clips or to adjustment layers.